So let's get going. Um, so first off, hey everybody, how are we doing? It is freezing today in Myrtle Beach, by the way. Um, but uh, we're going to have a great time today. We're going to talk about Google+. Plus. We're going to talk about the pages. We're going to talk about social search. Um, we're going to discuss the advantages, disadvantages of Google Plus over using, you know, Facebook pages and those things, and the importance of having one or the other or both or what we really should have. And so I thought it would be great to bring on Mike with us to talk about these things. Mike is a good buddy of mine, lives out in California, super knowledgeable on all things related to Google Plus. Um, when I want to know how something works, I call Mike up, and usually it's a Google Hangout or a message on Twitter or Facebook, and I'm saying, Mike, help, what should I do? So I thought it'd be only fitting to bring him on. Um, and like I said, we're not going to have a formal presentation. He doesn't have slides that we're going to go through. He's going to actually walk you step by step through Google Plus, and we want this to be interactive. So please get your questions ready, type them in the question box, hit us up on Twitter, pound G social, go over to my Google Plus page, ask them there. Or just use that hashtag G social throughout and we'll find them and uh, answer them as we're going through things today. So without any further ado, let me bring on Mike here and I'm going to pass over control to him. And Mike, you can just take us away from there then, okay? Cool. And it's going to bring up my screen, correct? It will. So okay. let me just get your name here. There you go. <laughs> Technology is beautiful. Okay, here we go. And I know it should be just a little bit of a lag time uh, if it's like normal, but eh, this is we'll we'll make it work. So what I'm, here's my plan. I'm gonna go as fast as I can without skipping too much information. Uh, get a whole bunch of of content out there so that we have plenty of time for questions and answers at the end. So very quickly, uh, this is the most important part. Uh, Google Plus is a social network. It is. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a new network. Is it? Do we really need to leave Facebook and Twitter and all that kind of stuff? Nah, not really. I'm not. I'm not overly sold on it. But uh, here's one of the first things and the most important thing, which is why I put it right at the front. It's your profile, and no matter what, uh, we've seen some astronomical numbers of of people who, you know. What they're saying is, you know, there's so many users joining Google Plus, blah, 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 blah. Really? I'm a little skeptic of that, and I'll tell you why. I think it's because everybody's just switching over and turning on their profiles. They're not actually using Google Plus. Not that I'm a hater. I'm just a little skeptic about this. But uh, how do you turn on your profile? Very simply, all I did was I went over to Google, and I did Google Profiles as far as the search goes. And it's, of course, the first one that comes up. And I'm not signed in right now, so I'll show you exactly where this takes you. It takes you to like an informational thing, and you could sign in, create my profile, and all that. When you do, uh, I'm going to switch over now to being signed in. This is my About tab or uh, my Google profile. So this is the most important thing is having a Google profile. Even if you never use Google+, uh, you know what? You get called away. You can't do anything more in this webinar. Uh, this is the most important thing. Get to here and then complete this. Don't leave an empty profile, but uh, very simply, this is the most important. So this is the About tab. This is where everybody's going to land. Uh, and when they click on a, you know, anything, a search or what have you, and I'm going to show you a little bit about those. And just a quick little tour. And here's a little caveat. Uh, you know, Twitter has some issues, and you know, Facebook has some issues. Um, what Google Plus does is Google says, yeah, they got problems. We're going to fix that. So what they've tried to do is anything that is wrong with another social media network that's confusing or what have you, like privacy controls or you know, whatever with Facebook or Twitter, they said, yeah, we can address that, and they fix it, and they try and make it better. So as we're going along, you're going to see a whole lot of things that are a whole lot like Facebook and a whole lot like Twitter and a whole lot like other things. And all of them are in an effort to you know, make it a little bit better. So this is my About tab, or if you want to call it, this is my profile on Google+. It looks a little bit like Facebook. you got five pictures, one, two, three, four, five. got one big picture over here. Of course, Facebook has gone over to the timeline if you haven't switched already. 
Um, I'm showing down the left hand side. I've got people who are that I've said, you know what, I am going to put you in a circle. And I've got people who have said, yeah, you know what, I'm going to put you in a circle. And that is kind of like, if it's confusing at all, it's kind of like Twitter. So like Twitter, I can follow anybody on Twitter. And anybody can follow me on Twitter. We don't have to follow each other. Unlike Facebook, where Facebook says, hey, will you be my friend? And yeah, I'll be your friend. Now we have a communal thing and we're friends. This is a lot like Twitter. So my circles don't have to exactly match who I'm following and who's following me. They could. They could be close. I'll show you how to adjust that a little bit and, and find out you know, who, has, who you haven't put in a circle that has already circled you. We're going to do that a little bit later on. And I can hide this. You know what? I don't want you to see who my friends are. Very simple. I'm going to show you how to edit your profile. Uh, this little block in here is uh, kind of, I'm going, to, I'm going to say it's your bio. You can put a little bit of anything in here. And I'm going to show you, we're going to get into strategies a little bit later on. Uh, but this little block, you can edit this. You can change anything that's in here. I've put a bunch of different links to other things. And then down below, it gives you bragging rights, occupation, employment, places I've lived. Here's my contact information way down here at the bottom. Not a big fan of that, uh, which is why I put my contact information up here at the top. It's a little hack, but I'll show you how to do that. And then you have other profiles. So what you can do is you can say over here on the right-hand side of your About tab, you know what, I, here's Mike on Yelp. Here's Mike on this. Here's Mike on that. Or wherever. It could be your website. Uh, AreWeConnected.com is my website. Takes you right on over. Here's Active Rain, things like that. So you can put a number of different links. This is all going to be indexed by Google, which is a good thing. Uh, obviously, it's going to be indexed by Google. Why wouldn't they? Unless I make it private. So up here at the very top, you'll see I got a little blue button because I'm signed in as me, and I can edit my profile. Now what happens is I can pick on anything to make it as easy as possible. What they've done is they said, pick on a spot. And so I can pick on this spot, for instance. And now I can change anything in here. And as you see, I can change who is able to see this. So if you want to put everything out there except for your phone number, that would be a very easy thing. You just scroll down to your phone number and you say, you know what? I don't want certain people to see this. So I can say, ah, you know what? I want it to go to only me, only my extended circles, only to a specific circle if I wanted that. Or, hey, I want public to see it. So I can change this on the fly and that now addressed the privacy concerns that Facebook had. And then when I'm done, I just, uh, done. So at any point in time, I can kind of hide or pick any of these things. And we're going to get into posting a little bit later as well. Uh, but that's your About tab. And that's where people are going to land when they find you on the internet and they come over to your Google profile. And I'm going to show you why that's all important. You also see I got photos. I got videos. I got plus ones. And plus ones we're going to talk about in a little bit. But plus ones, this is only visible to me, and this is kind of like a bookmarking thing. So as I'm around on the web, things that I have plus one and voted for or liked, you could say, are going to show up here. So I've always got this as a bookmarking uh, place. To, where was that site? I don't remember. Oh, there it was. And I can go right back to that because I've plus one it, uh, which is a little bit different from plus oneing within Google+, Plus, as confusing as that is. And of course, I have my posts. So this would be kind of like my wall, where I'm posting things people can comment back and forth, yada, yada, yada. Uh, Jeremy and I had a little hangout. We hung out earlier today, and it actually shows that. And it was just the two of us. But if there were seven people, there would be seven people there would show up right there. Are we doing OK so far? Doing great, man. Keep going. Cool. But well, all of a sudden, you know, I got the feeling, hey, maybe I'm not audible, but I am. Circles. Next little tab. See that little circle right there? I went to profile, and it has a um, sub-menu, if you want to call it out. I'm going to go to circles next. This is how we friend people or follow people, if you want to use the Twitter acronym. Um, and you can see it's going to pull up people that I have right now, people in my circles. Or I can switch to people who have added me. Or I can find people. And finding people, I can actually go over and say, you know what? Find everybody in my Hotmail or my Yahoo or my Gmail, which is typically where this is coming from. 
So uh, circles basically allow you, and this is a pretty cool thing, circles allow you to take anybody and put them into a circle. That circle has a certain amount of privacy based on what you want to do with it. So what I can do is I can take Debbie and I can go, hey Debbie, do you see how I just highlighted over her? Tells me a little bit about her and shows you she's in what I've called my circle as an A-list. But I can create a new circle. I can put her over here and create a circle and actually name that circle. So I have... Hey, Mike. Um, yeah? Some questions that we have coming in. I'll, sorry if I keep interrupting you as we go through. No, I want you to interrupt because if I miss something, I want to get back there. A question from Rick. He asks... Can specific circles be hidden from a post when posting? Yes. So just like Facebook privacy, which is very tough, what you do when you post, you can hide things from certain circles or you can show them to certain circles. So let me actually take her out um, and clear that. So that's an empty circle. But given that, you can have as many different circles as you want. You don't really need a whole lot. Um, and you can sort them by pretty much anything that you can think of. You can see I've got total dirt bags. Uh, Ooh, I've got who's in crap. there? Who's in there, Mike? Uh, we're not going to go there right now. Uh, we're going to stay up on the top bar. <laughs> and Another I've got question. Like social media. You want to see who's in there, by the way? What you can do is you can just hover over it, and it will show you who's in that circle. Or I can actually open it up, and it will you know, give all these little little things up here. So the A-list will automatically do that if I clicked on that, and it'll show everybody who's in that A-list or my super friends. So given that, what you can do is you can kind of create uh, whatever circles make sense to you. And they're going to start you out with family and things like that and following. Following for me is like Twitter. I'm going to follow everybody who follows me. I'm going to turn around and follow them back. And the way that I do that is I actually go over here every now and then. People who've added me to a circle. So what I've done is I've sorted, and I've got 2,450 people who have added me to a circle. And I can go one by one and go, yeah, okay, I want to put him there, put him there. But what I can also do in this little drop-down on the left-hand side is people I've not yet circled back. So this would be a great way to find out the people that you have not put into a circle yet and say, you know what, okay, you, you, you. And see, so you can click on these and highlight them and then say, you're into following, and now those people are in our circle. It's going to rebuild the list for me, and there we go. And let's take Tina and put her into a list. And so circles are very easy. People can be in more than one circle as they want, as you've decided. And if I put somebody in the circle, they have no idea. They know that I circled them, but they don't know what circle they're in, which okay, means they can be in friends. And that was or a question that we had. Somebody said, are the names of your circles public, and does it only show to just you? And I think you just answered that for them. Good. Yeah, well, actually, the names are not public, and the circles are not public. Now, you can share a circle. That's a new, relatively new thing. You can share a circle with the people who are in that circle. So, for instance, my A-list, what I can do is I can go to my A-list and share it amongst my A-list people which then opens up and it's at that point in time that all the other A-listers can go, oh yeah, I'm going to follow back Jeremy or I'm going to follow back so-and-so. And and so you can share those people within that same circle. Yeah, it's a little, you know, to me, I don't see a lot of value in that, um, but it is available. So that's your circles and you can play with them. You can adjust them. If you wanted to, you can hover over anybody like Stephanie and say she's in two circles, following and givers and sharers, because I have put her in two circles. If I didn't remember what circle she would be in, there it is. So very easy for me to be able to do something like that. Let's pick on Jeremy. Three circles. Oh, look at you. Oh, I thought I was in the total dirt bags one, too. <laughs> I can put you in total dirt bags. Uh, next button over, games. We're not going there. This webinar will not be partaking in games. Um, oh, Mike. Not a big game. Yeah. Question, Mike. Somebody asked, "How do you? Can you show us how to hide a contact?" Yeah, if you if you want to hide somebody in in particular, you can block them. 
or what you can do is you can you can turn around and and just put them in a circle and so you're showing when we get to the content part you're not showing that content to that particular circle does that make sense we're gonna get there so that's basic circles and you can play with circles uh, a lot of times what I do is I I don't want to manage my circles uh, I don't want to micromanage my circles what I want to do is I want to make sure I'm following everybody um, if somebody you know leaves a comment for me I want to know about it I want to make sure I know about it uh, so I got my notifications and, and I want to bring that up real quick once you have people create your profile create your circles and then once you have that now you can set up your notifications so what I did was I went over to the gear top right hand side and now I'm gonna set up my notifications and what I can do is I can down here determine what gets emailed to me what goes to my phone whatever I want so I've got better control let's say over you know what ends up happening because if somebody shares a post with me I don't want to really know about it I'm gonna know about it I'm not gonna show you how I know about it but if somebody mentions me yeah I want to know right away so what I might do is I might change that as well I want email which comes to my phone now but I want email and I want phone I want to know about it right now if somebody adds me to a circle yeah I don't really want to know about it because I'm I, I, do I really want all those notifications this is the way that you can better control that kind of stuff and you can see down at the very bottom um, I have you know tags I want people whose tags are automatically approved to go over to my profile and be visible by the public and the reason I want that is because I'm using Google Plus very socially very publicly so when you're all done with that you can head on back over to your Google Plus profile and that's how hard it is to set it up hi Karen <laughs> so what I just ended up doing was I started out on this circle here which is my profile we played with that I played with circles I totally skipped over games because it really doesn't matter and I'm gonna leave out photos for a second then I'm gonna come over here and now I'm on my home stream which is where it's always gonna take me uh, this is the news feed if you want to call it that for Google Plus so like Facebook has the news feed I don't know how many people do I follow I don't remember quite a ton this is gonna go by really really quickly Ooh, it really is so I'm not a big fan of that um, so what I'm gonna do actually let me just open her thing up just for a second so we've got that saved so what I'm gonna do is you can see over on the far left hand side I'm on my home stream and you can see I've got a number of different hey that's the name of my circles right there so very simply what I can do this would be like Facebook lists or even like Twitter lists what I can do is I can pull out specific people and say these people are important to me and slow down that stream so I may follow back everybody I may follow you know 10,000 people and that stream is just going by as fast as can be but most of them aren't important to me the ones that are important to me I can actually sort out and put into a list like my following is everybody I'm following this is gonna go by really quick if I click down I've got all of my other circles so givers and sharers and things like that and remember only I can see this so given that this is a, a great way to really slow down uh, what's going on in Google Plus because I really don't want to spend a whole lot of time in Google Plus I want to be in be out not spend a whole lot of my time do my things and pay attention to the people who are most important to me so ultimately this is where I end up most is my home and then what I've done is I've sorted into circles and you can do this yourself I actually if you can see the top of my bar um, I've saved this as I've got little bookmarks up here so notifications I've got as a bookmark and then my a list so actually really uh, first thing in the morning I check Twitter check Facebook here's Google Plus boom I go over to my list so this is one of my circles here's what's happening in my circle so I'm able to actually sort and filter really quick down below that we're gonna stay on the left hand side for a second we've got uh, really I'm just gonna say what's hot um, 
not think of it as Twitter's trending topics. That's really what it is. So you can actually see what's going on. Here, I'll click on it and we'll find out. This is what's going on. Whether or not these people are in my circle or not, these are things that are popular that people are commenting on. Yeah, 1,859 shares. You bet that's kind of popular. Um, and that's what's hot, trending topics. Uh, whether or not you like it or don't like it, yeah, neither here nor there. If you do, go ahead. Uh, chat. I like uh, Facebook's instant messenger chat. I keep it open most of the time so people can ping me and and get a hold of me and it's kind of neat. Uh, this is one that I can also turn on and turn off a lot like Facebook chat and I can actually uh, in my little scroll down I could say you know what I'm invisible and go get some work done and still do my reading or what have you. Or I can turn it on and Jeremy just said hi Mike. Great. <laughs> or I could say you know what I'm busy. So you have control or you can completely sign out. Totally available to you, uh, turn it on, turn it off as you like, whatever you see fit, totally up to you. Uh, let me get a refresh on this. So over here on my stream, I'm back to my home stream, I just clicked on home. Up here I've got my circles, I can actually pick on people who are within my circle. And, and then we're going down on the right hand side. Facebook does an okay job, I'm going to say, of suggesting friends. I really think that uh, Google Plus does an even better job um, because what they're doing is they're looking at people who I'm connected to who are connected to me um, maybe I'm not connected to them I haven't circled them yet they haven't circled me and they're putting they're connecting the dots together and they I think they do a better job so as easy as this is I can actually go and say Tara Hunt oh yeah I'm not following her now I am one click and I've put her into a circle these are all my circles so as I add people to circles, I may or may not uh, keep doing this. I can do this all day long, or I can go over to my circles and, and get to them from there. Um, yeah, do I really want to? Uh, no, I'm not even going to show you all, but I could. This is just taking me over to that circle page, and or I can just search for people and go through all that. Uh, not for me. I like I like actually adding them one at a time. And I'll like I actually. I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, and this was asked by Luis. She's asking, she says, I know I shouldn't be sharing the same stuff on Google Plus as other networks. From what I've observed, there are a lot of conversations taking place. Any tips on Google Plus etiquette? Yeah, well, and, and that brings up because what might end up happening is your audience, your friends, might be completely different and just like they are on Twitter and just like they are on LinkedIn so your Google Plus friends might be completely different uh, if if that's the case you know I do a whole lot more mountain bike stuff on Google Plus than I do anywhere else and I've got my list of friends in Google Plus that's my circle um, there is no etiquette you have to choose what works best for you and of course you really don't want to just blast everybody that that would be really ugly if you started doing that. Um, but uh, you know what? Yeah, what I could, what I would do is here. We'll put Karen because <laughs> she just came up. Um, what I would do is I would actually experiment with that and see what happens because really not everybody is on Google Plus. Everybody might be on Facebook. They might not uh, be to the same level on Google Plus, and so they're not actually seeing it. And especially if you're not mentioning them. Another question, Mike, that I got was, I hear yeah. people speaking about people spamming them to get in their stir circles. Can you elaborate? elaborate on oh, that? absolutely. Yeah. So like Twitter, what happens is anybody can add anybody else to a circle. So Patrick Healy, I've already gotten a circle. Um, but what I could do is I can add him to a circle, right? I can actually do a search for let's say John Smith and find all the John Smiths and you know what I have not added this John Smith to a circle I don't know him from Adam I could very quickly add him to a circle and and so like Twitter it isn't the exact same thing um, given that 
I don't really see a whole lot of spam per se. I, I see a lot of people who want to be added to circles. Um, you don't have to. Don't feel like you need to add anybody to a circle. The 2,451 people who have added me, chances are, you know what, I haven't gotten there yet, I'm going to add you. You know what, I've not added these people to a circle. Maybe I won't. Um, for instance, uh, isn't that that magician guy? I'm not going to put him in a circle. He's a little spooky to me. And if I do, I might put him in the dirt bags. But uh, quite often, I want to follow people back, especially the people who have followed me. They put me in a circle for some reason. Uh, I'm going to put them in a circle. Does that make sense? That does. Another okay. question, Mike, and Rick is begging, please show us how show us how to post and hide someone or a circle when posting. Good. Okay, we're going to get there. <laughs> Sorry, I want to. I want to just to get back to our profile or, or our, our home stream real quick because there was just a few things on the right hand side. Wow, that went pretty quick. Um, start a hangout. Next one below. Starting a hangout. Hangouts are kind of cool. I'm gonna say uh, what you can do when you start a hangout. And I actually turned mine on right now. Um, let's see if this is. Well, maybe the software isn't working. It was a little slow. Oh, okay, it's working slowly. It was a little slow this morning. So this is me starting a Hangout. And what I'm going to do, oh, look at that. So right now, hopefully everybody can see this. It's checking my microphone, checking my camera, and it turned my camera on only for me. So I'm not yet hanging out. And what I can do is I'm actually going to announce that I'm hanging out with my circles. Nah, I don't want to hang out with anybody like that. I want to hang out with only, and I might actually type a name, like Jeremy. And so Jeremy and I could just simply only Jeremy and I could hang out. So I could actually make it somewhat private. I could actually make it public so that it goes everywhere. And then when I'm ready, I click on Hangout, and now it's starting the video chat. Actually, let's see if this works. And Mike, that, while that's loading up, a question that came through from Vicky mm -hmm. asked that specific thing. She asked, when you do a hangout with each other, is it private? I know some are not. It depends on if it's public, just like I just did. And no one is here right now. <laughs> I'm coming. Okay. Now, I speaking of video, I like... Um, I love video, and I love being able to do this. And this might actually give us some... Uh, backlash. I'm not sure, but we'll have to see. There's a lot of wonderful stuff. Whoever's talking is going to show up. Uh, if we had like four or five different people, whoever's talking is going to show up on my screen. You guys are going to see Jeremy because he's the only one, and it it will never show me as big. But we can do things like screen share. We can do things like YouTube and actually watch videos together. And then we can chat. And with chat, what we can do is we can actually share links. Oh, wait, did you see this page? And I can actually, did you see this website? And I can actually share that with him. So Hangouts are pretty cool. I really, I really like that. We were playing this morning with phones. We were turning on our phones on Hangout and hanging out on the computer and on the phone at the same time. And that was working beautifully. So... Play with Hangouts. I'm going to actually get out of Hangout right now. Let's go back over to stream. Yep. I enjoyed our hanging. <laughs> so the one down below is invite friends. Eh, you know what? Google's not beta invite anymore. It doesn't really matter. And then we're going to get back to this one, which is the Google Plus create a page. Which brings me to a big question. Don't, well, not a question. Not a question. Google Plus, your profile is not for business. Your profile is for you personally. Just like Facebook, it's against the terms of service to actually create a profile for ABC widgets. You have to create a page. We're going to get to that, but there's your link. Mike, a so, question that uh, came in on Hangouts. Can yeah. you, well, there actually were two, and uh, I answered one, but I want to hear your thoughts on it. So could a Hangout be used for biz meetings or with clients, right? Or is it just more for fun? Well, not necessarily for fun. It could be for fun, but it could also be for business meetings. 
it could be and and you could think of this as regional or uh, very local uh, you know what you wanted to have a hangout on Tuesday night on how to buy a foreclosure let's say we're going to stick with real estate you can open that hangout to people who you've put in a circle who are local to let's say Walnut Creek that would work um, if you wanted you to can have up to, to 10 anybody. right I'm sorry you can have up to 10 people as well correct sure okay another question about hangouts is can you record them I don't know that there is an actual record button inside the hangouts so you'd have to use some store sort of screen capture software um, right. you know like on a Mac I use ScreenFlow or you could use Jing or Camtasia um, something like that you probably would need yep exactly so uh, hiding stuff I want to I get back over so now we're actually gonna post something so what I'm over is I, I went over to my home stream and I'm gonna post something actually I'm gonna go post this so here's a blog post that I wrote and maybe I didn't have to write it I'm just gonna copy the permalink from it and then come over here and so yeah I want to share this on Google Plus and I want it to go out to everybody or I want it to go out to just a specific circle so you can see I've actually preloaded I've got it going to public I've got it going to my following list and I've got it going to my a list no I don't want it to go there and I only want it to go to just my following so by doing this what I'm doing is I'm setting up the notification so that this post uh, let's go MLK Day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. So I'm going to send this specifically and only to my following. Um, and it's only going to go to that circle. And if I wanted to, what I can do is I can very quickly put in a permalink like that. And then what's going to end up happening is it's going to go find that blog post. And it found that blog post and it found this description and it found the title and now I'm sharing this and it's only going to that particular circle and not going to any other circles there's more so now once I've got what I want to share and do I want to email the 25 people I put into Google Plus into that circle no I don't want to so I'm not going to click on that button typically but now what I want to do is it's private and it went out to how many people are in following that's fine until they share it so even though I did private, they may turn around and share it publicly. If you're worried about that, here's what you need to do. Not necessarily disable comments, but lock this post. By locking this post, nobody can share it, and it's only to that circle. So that's how you would make it private and only going out to certain people. And if Jeremy was not in following, he would never see this. Does that make sense? That would be sad. It would be sad. So off it goes. And of course, this is a link back to my blog post where people would actually see it. And you can see I did it to limited. Ooh, no, I really wanted that public. At any point in time, here's what you can't do in Facebook, but you can in Google+. I can edit this. I can lock it. Oh, I meant to lock it. I didn't lock it. Well, now you can. You can just turn around and lock the post. If you wanted to, you can go back and edit the post and actually change everything about this post. You know, I misspelled this or I did that. So I've got the ability to change most anything on here. Pretty cool, huh? Mike, a I question. The question yep. that, that's being asked is, is there a way, like you've got a whole bunch of circles. Is there a way you could send out a post to all circles but like say not your dirt bag like is there like a all circles except this one or do you have to just manually add each of the circles you'd want it to go to you'd want to manually add just each of the circles unfortunately now the simpler way to do that that's a great question so the simpler way to do that is put everybody into one circle and they could be in other circles right so I've got my super friends the A-list the social media gods and family all of them go are also in following the ones that are not in following are my dirt bags so dirt bags are not in following so when I do and I can just pick on that one single circle 
when I pick on that one single circle and say, send it to the circle, I'm sending it to everybody I'm following, except the dirtbags. If people are in more than one circle, Mike, will they get it more than once? Nope, they only get it once. And if you're not supposed to use a Google Plus profile for business, do you think it's okay to share blog posts on your personal profile? Technically, officially, it's okay. Whereas in Facebook, it's not okay. Good question. Terms of service. <clears throat> Should we go to pages real quick? Go for it. All right. So down on the right-hand side, we have create a page. Here's how you set up a business entity within Google+. Very simple. Click on create a page, and it's down on the bottom right-hand side, and then you can pick a local business uh, brand or product or do whatever, and you can change all these. When you do and you create something, I'm going to go back to my profile and I'll pick on one of my pages. When you do, you can see that they're, they're actually, they're a little bit different. Uh, now I'm actually operating as that page. I'm not operating as Mike Mueller. I'm operating right now as Are We Connected? So given that, and it gives me a little warning and all that kind of stuff, so that when I share stuff, it's different. It's very different. So a couple of things that pages cannot do. Pages cannot actually um, put people in circles. Pages can only put people that have put them in circles into circles. So it, it isn't the exact same thing. But I can, I can do blog posts. I can do things like that. You can see that I'm in a circle. So I showed up over on this page because I've, all, I've already, if you want to call it liked my page, I've already liked my page. So my page, this would show up. So given that, uh, anybody could do anything within here. So uh, it wouldn't allow me to plus one. Interesting. Mike, could because, you show us again where the create a page button is? Some people miss that. Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to operating as me. And I'll show you that shortcut in just a second. So I'm on my stream. On the right-hand side, as soon as it loads, there it goes. The very bottom is create a Google page. Now the Thank same you. thing also hap happens and if you click on this this is actually start you off in building a page. The same thing also happens is if you are on a page so if you're on a page you'll see that link on the left hand side that you can create a page. Easy peasy. And we're gonna get back to pages in a second. So P well, actually, no, let's stay within pages real quick because I, I, I want to finish this one up. So the page, when I actually share something on my page, and it's going to say, yeah, I'm operating as me, and I share something um, on a webinar, yada, 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 and it's G Social is our hashtag, and I'm going to share that. Here's the problem with pages and, and why you shouldn't get overly excited is my page, I'm going to share this, and it's going to go out to public, and it's going to go out to following. There's nine people following my page. I can't add anybody else to my page. All I can do is I can actually, once they followed my page, now I can turn around and it would go out to them. So it's a little bit different from doing it as your profile. And you know what? That's okay. I mean, it is what it is. You see, I put the social, G social hashtag that we're using. Here's our G social hashtag. It works a lot like Twitter. So you can actually click on something with a hashtag and go over and it will load and there I am. So my page can actually reach out to everybody else that's using the hashtag. And I can even sort from just people. I can go Google posts. I can go from everyone. I can go from just my circles. So only if you're in my circle would that show up. To switch back and forth between pages, if you're on your tab, which is your home stream, you'll see a little drop down right over here. So I can go you, I, you can see I've created other Facebook pages. So I've got four different pages. Um, you can add multiple people to your pages as well. So you don't have to admin your own pages. You can have a team operating as your page, which is kind of a cool thing too. Um, and then of course your page has, here's Are We Connected's, page it has an about tab so that about tab 
just like my personal profile has an about tab, your page could have an about tab and it could have links right back to your page. You can have all the different things on the sidebar. You get five images up at the top. So you've got a, a lot of carryover. It just doesn't operate completely perfectly as your profile does. Okay, can we move on? Are we good? Okay, here's a question. How does your page get into circles? It's not already connected to your profile. Um, so how, how do we get it to start showing up in people's circles? And also at the same time, what's the best way to get people to add you your page to their circles? Do they need to Google Plus it or, or what? Great idea. So no, you can't Google Plus it. Um, but if I'm posting out to everybody, like I just did right here, so people can very easily add Are We Connected to a circle. So if you're seeing this in a stream, you can add this page to a circle. So it's it that's within within Google Plus. It's the way to do it. If you've got a website, uh, you might have added a plus one button, uh, a Google Plus button onto your website. But you all also might have links on your website. So the links on your website. Hey, find me on Facebook. Find me on Google Plus. So if you do have something like that, this link over here, the small little Google Plus, doesn't go to my profile it goes to my page. So you can drive traffic. The same thing with email. If you've got an email, you know, a footer in your email, find me on Google Plus. Well, is that you, your personal profile, or is that you, your page? So if you're trying to drive traffic to your page, number of different ways to do it. Does your page have the same SEO benefits as your Google profile? No, unfortunately it does not. <laughs> Good question. So uh, Google is not using, and, and one of the things they're somewhat worried about is the spam factor. And so they're trying to, and, and maybe it's going to change, but they're trying to really rein in the, the pages and slowly figure this out instead of making a mistake and then having to go backwards. Okay. Another question, Mike, is you, you mentioned that Google Plus One button a moment ago. and Somebody wants to know um, how much does clicking on that G Plus button on your website or blog, how does it help with your Google Juice SEO position? That's going to uh, be I think huge. we're going to yeah. talk about that a little bit in a, in a few minutes about the, the Google Social and all that. Uh, but do you want to talk about that now or wait? No, actually, what I wanted to do is is get almost right there. I wanted to show you really quickly uh, two things on your profile first. Uh, let me get back over to my profile. So I'm on Mike. I'm on my profile. And up here at the very top, uh, you've got, let me give it a refresh, used to be the only thing that you could search in this box up at the very top was just other people. And you couldn't actually search out things within Google. Now you can search anything. Let me get back to my stream. You can search anything in Google Plus. So I can search, and I can actually search out things like, um, you know what? Let's do this. So I can search for Myrtle Beach condos and see what happens. So what's going to end up happening when I do this, this is a wonderful thing. This is what I think Google is great at is a search. I can search for everything. I can search for Google Plus posts, or I can search for Google Plus Sparks. And I want to talk about Sparks really quickly, because now what we're doing is we're switching from broadcast mode to listening mode. And I, I we're going as fast as I can, but um, what I want to do is I want to set up a Spark. I want to set up, well, are you familiar with Google Reader? And I use, I use Reader locally. So what I've done is I've said, here's a whole bunch of blogs that I like, and I put them in my Google Reader, and as things happen uh, locally, it shows up, but only if I know about those blogs. Well, what ends up happening with a Spark, a Spark is kind of like a reader. A Spark is like a reader that you don't necessarily know about. So what happens is, when I do Myrtle Beach Condos, and I'm doing Sparks, Google is finding content that matches what I was searching for, and saying, you might not know about this website, but here it is. And so it's showing me things that I don't necessarily know about. And there's that plus one. Think of plus one just like the Facebook like button. When you're in Facebook 
and you can like a comment, you can like a post, you can you can like a lot of things, an image, but it's only within Facebook. When you actually are outside of Facebook and you're on a website and there's a like button, what happens when you like something outside is it goes onto your profile and says, hey, Mike Mueller likes this. And so now all of a sudden there's there's a like button and that's outside and it's very different. The same thing happens with Google+. Plus. So in Google+, Plus, what happens is anywhere, I can click on anything, go over to this blog post, and I'm outside of Google+. Plus. If they, they have a like button for Google+, Plus, which is now called a plus one button, right? If they have a plus one, I can actually plus one this post. That's the important part that we want to talk about. Let me, let me go over to, here's why it's important. So I just did a, right before, I just did a Myrtle Beach condo. By the way, I'm in San Francisco, Myrtle Beach, all the way across the country. If I'm searching for a condo in Myrtle Beach, I might type into Google Myrtle Beach condos. This little guy over here on the right, show personal results. That's that new thing, my world. This is the new thing that's breaking. Now what has happened is, all of a sudden, things that are being plus one out there around the world my friends and then the people who are friends of my friends are going to start showing and they show up under here so what ends up happening is I've got 80 people who have personally you know what for your search Mike I've got a recommendation for you so I may or may not know Diane I actually put her in a circle she's in following I may or may not know Thomas but I put him in a circle as you can see Guess what happens when I click on Thomas? I'm going right over to his profile. So this is why your Google Plus profile is huge. So when we're talking about digital strategies and, and how to actually use this Google Plus, if all you did was just create your profile, didn't play in Google Plus at all, create your profile, get it up there so that, uh, you know what, about me, now I can find out a whole lot more about Thomas. Actually, he's a friend of mine. I actually know him but if if I didn't this would be a great link right back to everything about him and he's done a pretty good job he tells me exactly who he is and I go right over to his blog and go over to Facebook profile LinkedIn profile I can actually follow up and get a hold of well can I get a hold of him that's a different question why isn't his phone number up here at the top I think you should put your phone number if you're in sales put your phone number I have to go all the way down here. Maybe I don't really want to go all the way down here. So uh, to me, that's huge. And that's that's basically, that's digital breadcrumbing. The other thing I could do is I can go over to my Sparks, and I can find my Sparks anytime I want. If I click on the home, they show up over here on the left-hand side. So I can go over, let's say, DSLR video, and I can, as soon as it loads, I can go and go find that Spark for DSLR video or local blogs and I could see what's happening locally if this was a search for local blogs and then if I clicked on this this would take me right over to wherever it is and I can leave a comment and I can actually show up over on this leave a comment hey that's a great video blah 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 or maybe it's a blog post or what have you so listening locally that would be a huge thing to set up a spark for something local what so else should I we think, do? So I think, Mike, one of the things that really we need to stress with everyone is that it's important now on your site more than ever that you not only have yourself first a Google Plus profile set up for yourself, you know, a, a page for your business, but also that your website now is integrated in with those Google Plus One buttons. Uh, because now when people are out on Google doing searches, they're going to look at those social searches. And, you know, I heard a statistic not too long ago that, what was it, something like 84% of all consumers trust peer recommendations versus 14% trust an advertisement. So I really think you're going to see that social search become something people are using more. And so if people are out there, when they're reading your content, clicking that plus one button, sharing your stuff, liking it with that button it's gonna help your content to be found in searches like this 
you know, so if Mike's connected on Facebook with these people, or on Google Plus, just to say, with these people, and he's talking about Myrtle Beach condos and buying a place, he's more likely to buy from somebody whose stuff is plus one on here a lot more than somebody who isn't. Um, you know, there's one of mine, but it's not till it shows up on the second page, and that's only because I don't sell Myrtle Beach condos anymore. Um, so, but you know, I could go in there plus one a few of my things, and I'd be right there on the front page showing up for somebody looking to buy a place and using that social search. What shouldn't you? Let me ask you. What shouldn't you be plus oneing? Your competition. Your competition, exactly that. <laughs> You know, here's here's Toby, and I've put him in a circle, and he shows up, and uh, okay, so you know that's a that's a really good question. If you run around and you did everything locally, does it have to be local? Or for instance, uh, what he just did, uh, and where is Toby? Toby's nowhere around Myrtle Beach, by the way. So. This is where I was, and I did a search for Myrtle Beach condos, and Toby's blog shows up. He's in Seattle, not Myrtle Beach. <laughs> and that's probably caused, Mike, would you say, because somebody that's connected in Myrtle Beach plus won this at some point? Uh, it looks like he plus won it. Okay. Ultimately, it looks like he plus won it. Okay, well, here's a couple more questions for you, Mike. Um, so when sure. you Google, Google search profiles, others will come up to see. Um, let's see what else here. How much is the plus one button actually being used by people? Uh, Carol, I know on my site, it's getting clicked. You know, just about every post now is getting three to four plus ones um, on all, just about every blog post I write. Um, some of them have more plus one buttons clicked than actual tweets or um, you know Facebook shares. Uh, let's. What about you, Mike? What have you seen? Well, I was gonna I was gonna pick on something that was you know a little while ago and and see how many plus ones. So this particular one, I got two likes, I got one plus one, I got seven tweets. Um, okay. And that, you know what? To me, I'm not I'm not going to overly sweat this. Uh, but if you're using if you're using Google Plus as a strategy, I'm going to go find things that are relevant. I'm going to go plus one them out there on Google. Should you plus one yourself? Does it count with Google? You betcha. Well, I don't know if it counts, but yes, I'm going to plus one it. When I do, it allows me to actually share it on Google Plus as well, so I can actually write a comment and actually share that to different circles. All right, let's see here. Other question? Um, what is the plugin you use on your site to get the social media buttons? Um, there's a ton you know, think... of them out there, Deborah. Yeah. Uh, what was it, Mike? I was, I was going to say a lot of the ones that I've done are hard-coded in, but I think most, because really originally, Google Plus wasn't an option for, shows, for social sharing plugins. Um, I think almost all of them have it right now. So easy enough to add. Yeah, there's great plugins out there. There's if you've got you know some plugins already installed, you can just go and find a, a G plus button and add it. Um, you know WordPress has probably I'd say 50 or 60 of them out there. Just find one that has good rating reviews and use that. Um, or you know go with something like a Dig Dig plugin that pulls all of them in together. Um, you know if you go over to my site now, you'll start to see. You know them all coming in through something like that, um, but it, it's important to have it there. And you know, like Mike said, I I, I plus one everything of mine um, when I remember and share it over to Google Plus. Um, you know, if nothing else, it helps me to put at least my space, my my stuff there at least one time possibly in a social search that anyone connected to me is going to do. And so you know, it, it's not going to hurt. So Debbie just created a page. How hard is it to add to a circle? And I've actually added, I've got a circle just for pages. So now I've added it to a page. 
question That's like me. somebody said, crap, I set up my company page and must have hit the wrong button. Now I can't get back to my personal. Help. Go over, go over to home. And if you're on your company page, it'll look like this. And if you go to the home, you'll see you've got a drop down for you. Hopefully that helps you out. Yes, Linda, I, I plus one on my WordPress site um, on my individual posts um, and, and share them over. But like Mike said, when you click that plus one button, you can plus one it and it gives it that little vote and then underneath it, it'll pop up and say, would you like to share it too? And you can then share the post over into your Google Plus stream. Um, and, and I'll do that too. And you know, just like for example, when we were doing this um, this webinar, and I shared the post over to Google Plus the other day, it was then shared by one or two other people, and it got plus one by some of their people who were reading it and commented on, and it started some good conversations, all from the one single plus one I did. Yeah, things on notifications, by the way, and that's that's my other bookmark that I have is notifications originally or most every morning when I start out what happens is it will show me people who have added on added me into circles even though I turned off the email notification it loads here most every time unless you click on this down more and I just want to see mentions I want to see people who have mentioned me and there that's you know what that's a great place for me to comment All right, I got a couple more questions here, Mike. I'm trying to weed through everything right now. Um, here's a question for you that came from Debbie. When you're, what categories should realtors put their biz, business page in? Ooh, well, you know what? As far as that goes, I really like. I meant to meant to say this. I really like her page. So what she's done is she's done a local business, and that local business requires you to have an address and I could just tell by the way she's done this so uh, on her local business it physically has an address so she has put in that address that creates a Google places kind of page um, and then she can go and you know fill out the rest and do all that kind of stuff which she hasn't done yet but very simply uh, for a real estate agent that's probably the, what I would end up using you know for somebody who is uh, maybe not necessarily a real estate agent looking more for referrals or maybe a wider area and or you know what you can create as many different pages so you can create a page for whatever you want to do um, but if you want to do more of the public kind of thing like all of my pages are generic you know and so there are their business but they're you know a product their website okay two more questions that I've got here right now Mike one is how do you put admins on for your page oh cool Okay, really quick. So you go to your page, like I am right now. Up in the top right hand side, here I gotta move my little gear guy. I can go to settings. When they first launched pages, they forgot about this part. So here is the back end of my page for Are We Connected? And I can click on managers, and then I could just very simply add them by email and just start typing a name or what have you, and it would show. And then I invite them, and they become. Uh, a manager of my page. Then when they come over to the page, they can operate as the page or they can operate them as an adult. So you could add the dirt bag to your page? Not the dirt bag circle, but I could add, for instance, you, the dirt bag. I could add oh. you to my page. Another question for you, Mike. I have a plus account under a profile that is not attached to the Gmail address I now use for business. Is there a way to forward slash merge or am I in recreation situation? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I would check with the help department, and oops, you can you can always go to Google Plus Help, and that's that little gear, and then go see. That's something that I have not run into. I think from what I've seen in other group discussions, that unfortunately, you gotta I think start over if I remember correctly. Well, you shouldn't have to. Well, maybe under Ooh, your settings it's in there. I don't know. 
Yeah, you shouldn't have to. You should be able to be able to do everything yourself. Um, very quickly, because I know somebody's going to want to hack this. These five pictures you can put up. You can rotate. You can put up profile pictures. These are 125 by 125 thumbnails with a uh, uh, 15 pixel in between. So you're going to see people who have a profile picture that kind of bleeds into this. Um, if you want to do, there are five different pictures. Just know that they're 125 by 125. Yeah, Vicky said that they made her deactivate when she had to do it. Interesting. So guys, uh, we're getting close to the end of our time. Um, there's still a bunch of you guys in the room. If you have any questions, ask them now. Mike and I will stay around for a little bit longer and answer any other questions you guys might have uh, about Google Plus uh, and anything going on with it. Also, to let you know, we'll probably be doing some more webinars on this, Mike. Uh, a lot of people are saying, can we get some more in detail, you know, something that doesn't go quite so fast on some specifics. So um, <laughs> we'll try to do some more of it in the future. Uh, also, probably in the next two weeks or so, I'm going to do another webinar coming up. Uh, I did video last week, doing Google Plus this week. I haven't decided yet what we'll do next. Um, so keep checking on the on my website. You'll see them coming up, and make sure you get registered. Uh, let's see what kind of questions we've got here. Um, Vicky wants to be invited to a hangout. Maybe we'll have a hangout after we finish here, Mike, and hang out with anybody who wants to. How's that sound to you for a couple minutes? Perfect. Let's see here. Uh, can you change the business category on a business page? Yes. Could you show us how to do that? Okay. So let's go over to areconnected.com, and you can go over to your profile. I'm winging this now because I have not changed my business category yet but I know that you can. So here's my profile. Yeah, we're going to say edit profile. And now I can do, 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 do. I know you can do it. Hmm. We're going to find it. Okay, while I'm looking, go ahead. Next question. Um, Somebody wants to know, is there a way to personalize your G Plus profile username yet? I don't think so. Is there, Mike? There is not. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to actually, I'll, I, I'll do some research. That will be a blog post coming up. I, get, I know you can change the category. Um, I'll figure it out and find out where it is. Uh, but getting so back the person to... person who asked that, keep an eye on Mike's blog. There you go. Um, but yeah, uh, there is no, you know, for your profile, it is one big old long ugly number. Uh, it is, the, there are certain shortcuts that you can use outside that will allow you to create a short code for it. But for instance, I am, I'm just a number. I am, you know, 44353 with a whole bunch of other things. Yeah, we're a whole bunch of numbers. That's all we are nowadays is numbers. Well, guys, yep. it's uh, it's almost 10 after, and it looks like we've got just about all the questions answered. Hopefully everyone enjoyed today and got a lot of information. Do me a favor, guys. Go over and find Mike on Google+, or go to his Facebook page or profile if you know him. And tell him thanks for all the information today. I know I learned a bunch, and um, you know once we get things shut down here, you'll see us. We'll pop on and do a Google Hangout for a couple minutes, uh, and talk with you all and answer any other questions you might have. Uh, Mike, I'm seeing everybody saying through, saying thank you so much. Great information. Cool. You guys rock. Great job, guys. Great, great, great. Thanks, Mike and Jeremy. You know, all kinds of cool stuff. So with that, guys. Use the gonna, hashtag. Use that hashtag. I was going to say, use that hashtag. If you're yep. not hanging out, which is perfectly fine, um, ask a question over our, using that hashtag, and then that way we can we can answer that. Definitely. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining us today. And like I said, you know, keep an eye out on Mike's page. He'll have on his website, he'll put a link up soon to answer some of those questions we didn't get to. And also keep track over on mine, 210consulting.com. There's going to be some more classes coming up here in the next few weeks that hopefully will help you guys out, and you definitely don't want to miss them. So with that, Mike, I say thanks again, and hope everyone has an awesome day.